guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you today we're gonna be doing an American Eagle jean collection I know that some of you have been requesting this for me so I'm finally getting around to doing it and without further ado let's just jump right on into this video I did work at American Eagle for two and a half years I was a part of the influencer program so I did get a lot of these in the last year of my employment there and they were free gifts to me as a means to promote which I'm so blessed and grateful for so I don't want to come across as braggy but I wanted to give that disclaimer and I wanted to tell you for reference that I'm a size 4 or 6 in all of these jeans so the first category and one of my favorite categories is mom jeans I just can't go back to regular jeans so I got a few here to show you this first one is called cool classic it has the comfort stretch waistband which I will say I have to size up with a comfort stretch waistband. I'm not sure why, they're just not very stretchy even <laughs> though the name says otherwise, but definitely recommend sizing up. These are super cute and they just have a basic rip at the knee, which I really, really love. One of my favorites. This one is very old. It's my first pair of mom jeans that I got while I was working there. It's from like two summers ago, I think, but it's called Easy Breezy Blue in a mom jean one of my favorites and it also just has ribs at the knees but this was a size four for me because it wasn't that comfort stretch waistband thing this one is fun this one is faded black just a mom jean it's also the comfort stretch waistband and i didn't size up which i regret they're pretty tight on me but i still like these and there is one hole at the knee if you haven't noticed my favorite types of jeans have a few holes and not too many i'm not a shredded jean person really anymore this one is a classic this is washed black no rips in it and I did size up in this one even though I didn't really need to but I just wanted to because I wanted like an oversized pair of jeans you know those days when you're like grubbing at Olive Garden which is one of my favorite places and you just want a pair of jeans that you're not gonna feel constricted in that's what I wanted for this pair so I got that one right before I quit working at American Eagle and then I also got the same jean just in classic blue so no rips again and I also got it in a size 6 this time just for that extra comfort and I love wearing these with the bottoms rolled up it gives that super 90s like jean look to me so I'm a fan of it. I know some people aren't, but that's okay. Now we're going to move on to mom's straight jeans. This is my second favorite, well, maybe my first favorite style from American Eagle. Mom jeans would be second, mom straight would be first. This is one of my most worn pairs. This is Easy Breezy Blue, but in a mom straight jean style, they do currently sell this one versus the other one they don't. They do have rips up here at the top, but the rest of it, there are no rips. And this is just like a perfect everyday pair of jeans. That's why I wear them so much because I just feel like they go good with everything. Second pair of mom's straights is light aglow, no rips on this guy. And I just feel like this is really cute. I feel like this is a good winter one. I know light jeans normally aren't worn in the winter, but I feel like this is a good winter jean if you just wore like a darker top or a darker sweater. That's what I feel about these guys. This is blue powder. This is like my perfect summer mom straight jean. I just feel like it screams summer to me. Like I should wear this with a crop tank top type of deal. I think these are so cute and I haven't really worn them recently because it's winter, but I will wear them a lot more when the weather warms up. This is the last pair of the mom straights. This is cool torn here. There are a few more rips than normal but still not an overwhelming amount and i just love this pair like how could you not it's just a classic it's got some distressing on the back as well i just <laughs> i'm a sucker for like lightly ripped jeans as you can tell i have one pair of the baggy mom jeans and i have these because they are the crisscross style on the top so they have the regular button and then they have like the extra inside button so that they crisp. 
<laughs> I can show you a picture because I'm not explaining it very well, but they're baggy mom jeans. So they are very, very straight leg all the way down. There's no ribs in them. And normally I don't like this style, but for some reason this jean works. Like I like how it looks on this pair versus I've tried a few other pairs and I didn't really like them, but maybe the crisscross effect makes me like it more. Let's move on to 90s boyfriend. I only have two. I will say that the 90s boyfriend are not very stretchy, so I recommend sizing up in them, of course. This is a gray pair. I think it's called lightning gray or stone gray. I've had this one for a while, but I did not size up in this one. So that is a bummer. They are pretty tight, but that's okay. They do have a lot more rips than my regular jeans, but it's kind of fun if you want to go like skater girlish. That's the vibe that I get from those. Then I do just have this plain black pair with no rips in it that are high rise 90s boyfriend. I got this in a size 6 so they are a little bit looser and I do love this style. It's just a more straight leg fit than I feel like the mom jeans are. The mom jeans I feel like are more tapered towards the ankle but I like the looser fitting jeans sometimes, so that's why I got those two. Now let's move on to the flare jeans. I got two of these, and I didn't think I would be wearing flare jeans, honestly. But I just see them on other people, and I think they're so cute, so I want them on myself. This is Blue Haven. It has this cool pocket design here, and me and my coworkers used to joke about this jean, and I don't know what it is. But I feel like every girl that wears them, it makes them look like Mrs. Incredible. Maybe it's the pocket design, but it just gives you an hourglass figure. I don't know the magic behind it, but it does. So if you want to try these, it's so cute. This one is Cool Hand Blue. It is a plain pair of light wash kind of jeans, but it has one rip right here. I will say that the flares are long because of the flare part. So if you are short, I'm 5'6", and they are kind of long for me, I would recommend getting a shorter length because they are pretty long, but I normally wear them with boots. Even with my sneakers, they're not that bad either. The last category are my jeggings. I am not really a jegging person anymore, but I definitely don't want to get rid of my jeggings because I know styles and trends go everywhere all the time. So even though I love my loose fitting jeans, maybe I'll go back to my jeggings someday. So I wear them sometimes, not that much. This first pair is a super high rise jegging. It goes all the way to your belly button. It is the Lux jean, which this is the only pair of Lux jeans that I have. And honestly, I am not sure why they're so expensive or why they're hyped up because I feel like they're just like regular jeans. So take it out for what it's worth, but it has two rips on each side here at the knee. And I believe this one's pretty old. I think this is what's called faded black or something like that. I am so sad that American Eagle stopped making this material. They have a few of them left of the dream jean, but it's not as popular. And I don't know why, because I was obsessed with them and I used to sell them to so many customers because they were so stretchy and so comfortable. But I really loved the dream jean material. So here's my favorites, if they ever bring them back. This one was called Starry Bright. Has the same distressing on the knees and then it has some distressing on the bottom. So many people used to love this one. I don't know why they got rid of it, honestly. This one was called Dream Blue. Has a rip at both sides of the knee again. And then the bottom's pretty regular. I will say that these are a lot longer than normal. I don't know if that's like another part of the dream jean, but take that for what it's worth. Maybe get a shorter length. And then lastly is this one. This one was called Simply Dark, I believe, and it's just a plain pair of jeans, really. I honestly was picturing myself going to like a job interview or like something formal where I needed a serious pair of jeans and that's what I got these for. I'm not really sure what occasion I was thinking of, but that's what I was thinking. But anyways, that is all of my jeans. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do this for you. And I will see you guys next 
Saturday. Bye guys.